this is the before and this one is the clip after applying the dolly effect hey what is up guys this is james and welcome to another adobe premiere pro tutorial today i'm going to show you how you can achieve dolly effect look in adobe premiere pro normally what happen if you want to achieve the dolly effect you need to do it in camera when you are moving with your camera when you are tracking some object then you need to change the focal length of your camera then you will get this kind of effect but actually you can achieve that effect in editing in post production so today i'm going to show you the process how you can achieve this effect in editing here i have prepared two clip for you to show how you can make the doll effect first let's begin with the tracking shot so here is the clip i want to use for dolly effect i'm just clicking and dragging this video on my timeline i'm clicking keep existing settings so if i just play it back you'll see this is a normal tracking shot and it is a slow motion video so one more thing you need to remember when you are applying this effect you need to apply the effect on a clip that is moderately fast you cannot apply this effect on a slower clip so first we need to speed up the clip a little bit to speed it up you can go to here and from here you can select red stretch tool click here then this tool will select then you can just click and drag to speed it up a little bit maybe if i play it back yes the speed has been increased a little bit i will slow it down a little bit more i don't need this much speed perfect now you need to go at the beginning of your clip then go to effects control panel if you don't see effects control panel then go to window and then enable effects control panel from the effects control panel under motion section you'll see two properties which is position and other one is scale again go to at the beginning of your clip and then scale it up a little bit maybe 180 percent or 200 percent i'm just keeping it 180 and from the position you need to change the position to make a proper frame right i'm just changing the position here just like that now go forward few frames maybe this much and then click here which says reset parameter just click scale reset and position reset if i just play it back you will see there is a warping effect which is looking like a dolly effect right if i play it back again it is looking cool right now let's see the next one which is a tracking out video this one was tracking video i am going with the camera forward right and the next one where the drone is moving backward if i just play it back you can see the drone is flying back right it is not going towards the subject for this kind of video you need to go at the beginning of your clip then go to effects control panel and from the effects control panel now you don't need to scale it up because it is going backward right that is the reason we don't need to scale it up at the beginning so go to at the beginning of your clip now enable position and scale keyframe then go forward few frames maybe here now you can scale it up just like that if i play it back you can see the warping effect is happening right so this is the way that you can follow to achieve dolly effect when you are editing but you need to keep in mind if you want to achieve the dolly effect when you are editing it will not work on a static video if the camera is not moving then it will not work the second thing is if there is not an a background element then it will not look good the last thing is if you are using a wide angle lens then it will look good but if you are using a zoom lens maybe 50 millimeter or 85 millimeter then you will not get an a background element and it will not look good so try to shoot your video using a wide angle camera and be sure that there is some motion on your video so that is all for today i hope you have entered this video and if you have entered this video learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye